In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well without end. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing, singing for, for joy. joy. Come, bring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Come before, come before the, the Lord, Lord, singing for joy. The mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come, come before, before the Lord, Lord singing, singing for joy. joy. Come in. Let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Come, Come before, before the, the Lord, Lord singing, singing for, for joy. joy. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Had it not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massar in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Come, Come before, before the, the Lord, Lord singing, singing for, joy. for joy. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, Never shall I enter my rest. Come, Come before, before the, the Lord, Lord singing, singing for joy. joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Come before the Lord, Lord singing, singing for joy. We now pray him 957. As if you were not there, the, the skies ignite and thunder, rivers, rivers tear their, their banks asunder, asunder. thieves and, and nature storm and plunder, all beware, as, as if you were not there. there. As, as if you were not there, famine, famine and flood, flood together, together Usher death, death, disease, and terror. Stricken, stricken mothers wonder whether God, God heeds prayer. prayer. As, as if you were not there. As if you were not there. Not there. We, televise we televise the dying. Watch the, the helpless victims crying. Solve our conscience by sighing. Life's, life's unfair. unfair. As, as if you were not there. As if, as if you were not there. there. Your son, when faith defied him, Face the crowd which crucified him, him leaving friends who had denied him in despair, in despair as, as if he were not there. Not there. Because, because he rose again and showed God's, God's love is vaster than the ultimate disaster, we entreat you now to master strife and pain, because he rose again. <coughs> In the evening, let, let me know, me know your love, love O Lord. Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore, my spirit fails. My heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought. And to you I stretch out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way that I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will. For you, O oh Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. In, In the, the morning, evening, let me know your love, love O Lord. Lord. The Lord will send peace, flowing, flowing like, like the a river, river upon Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her. That you may suck and be satisfied with her consoling breast, that you may drink deeply with delight from the abundance of your glory. For thus says the Lord, behold, I will extend prosperity to her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream, and you shall suck, and you shall be carried upon her hip, and dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem, you shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord will send, send peace flowing, flowing like, like a river, river upon Jerusalem. To our God be joyful praise. praise. Praise the Lord, for he is good. Sing to our God, for he is loving. To him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of his stars. He our calls each one by name. <coughs> our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve one's needs. He provides the beasts with the food and the young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in the warrior's strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. To our God be joyful praise. A reading from the letter to the Romans. I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be re revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of his Son of God. For the creation was subject to futility, not of its own will, but on the will of him who subjected it in hope. Because the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. Early in the morning, I will think of you, O Lord. Early in the morning, I'll think of you, Lord. You have been my help. Early in the morning, I'll think of you, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Early in the morning, I'll think of you, O Lord. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and, and forgive, forgive us, us our, our sins. sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty <coughs> Savior in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those were his prophets from of old. A savior 
who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. It's what Abraham, our father, to grant us, not free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, to forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give, give your, your people, people knowledge of salvation, of salvation Lord, Lord, and, and forgive us, us our sins. sins. It is the Father's will that men should see him in the face of his beloved Son. Let us honor him as we say. Hallowed be your name. Christ greets us with good news. May the world hear it through us and find hope. Hallowed be your name. We praise and thank you, Lord of heaven and earth. You are the hope and joy of men and women in every age. Hallowed be your name. May Christ's coming transform the church and renew its youth and vigor in the service of men and women. Hallowed be your name. We pray for Christians who suffer for their belief. Sustain them in their hope. Hallowed be your name. <clears throat> Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be, thy, be thy, name. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, done be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Grant us, Lord, a true knowledge of salvation, so that, freed from the fear and the power of our foes, we might serve you faithfully all the days of our life. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. Amen. Amen. And we now pray for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we, we thank, thank you for every, every priest who's faithfully who's given his life for the salvation, for the salvation of his brothers, and, brothers sisters. and sisters. We give, we give thanks, thanks to those, to those priests, priests who have brought, who brought us to the, us word, the of word of truth, the, the grace, grace of the sacraments, sacraments and, above and above all the supreme gift, gift of the Holy, of the Holy Eucharist. Eucharist. Father, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ who called call the apostles, apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up new and generous vocations to the priesthood in our time. Send forth, forth the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call and enable them not to be afraid but to recognize the joy of giving their whole lives, lives in love to Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord, Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns, reigns forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for Dr. T.
family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <coughs> you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, the gospel that you received and in which you are firmly established, because the gospel will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preached to you. Believing anything else will not lead to anything. Well then, in the first place, I taught you what I had been taught myself namely that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures and that he was buried and that he was on the, raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared first to Cephas and secondly to the twelve. Next he appeared to more than what 500 of his brothers at the same time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and at the last of all appeared to me too. It was as though I was born when no one expected it. I am the least of the apostles. In fact, since I persecuted the church of God, I heard, hardly deserved the name apostle. But by God's grace, that is what I am. And the grace that he gave me has not been fruitless. On the contrary, I, or rather the grace of God that is with me, have worked harder than any of the others. But what matters is that I preach what they preach, and that is what you all believe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, His love has no end. Give thanks, thanks to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is good. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for, for he is good. good. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. I will thank you forever as you for you have given answer, and you are my Saviour. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. is good. Please stand to greet the Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. God in Christ has reconciled the world to himself, and he has entrusted to us the news that we are reconciled. Hallelujah. Alleluia. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <clears throat> One of the Pharisees invited Jesus to a meal. When he arrived at the Pharisee's house, he took his place at table. 
A woman came in who had a bad name in the town. She had heard he was dining with the Pharisee and had brought her with her an alabaster jar of ointment. She waited behind him at his feet, weeping, and her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them away with her hair. Then she covered his feet with kisses and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who this woman is that is touching him and what a bad name she has. Then Jesus took him up and said, Simon, I have something to say to you. Speak, Master, was the reply. There was once a creditor who had two men in his debt. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. They were unable to pay, so he pardoned them both. Which of them will love him more? The one who was pardoned more, I suppose, answered Simon. Jesus said, you are right. Then he turned to the woman. Simon, he said, you see this woman? I came into your house and you poured no water over my feet. But she has poured out her tears over my feet and wiped them away with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but she has been covering my feet with kisses ever since I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. For this reason, I tell you that her sins, her many sins, have been forgiven her, or she would not have shown such great love. It is a man who is forgiven little, who shows little love. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Those who were with him at the table began to say to themselves, who is this man that he even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. How rich are the readings today? Paul gives us a summary of what we believe as followers of Christ, and he speaks honestly about his own role as passing on the gospel. What would we say about our own role in receiving and passing on the gospel? Then we have the account of Jesus' encounter with a woman who has put herself in a very vulnerable position. She hasn't been invited to the meal, and she has a bad name in town. Yet, she cares for Jesus in a way the Pharisee does not. Jesus says, to show so much love, she must have felt much forgiveness for her failings. What would Jesus say about the way I show my love for him? Hear him saying, come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Let us pray. Lord, you forgive the sins. You forgive sins because you forgive sins because you are God. During this year of faith, may we embrace the truth of of the incarnation and may we too fall at your feet in love and worship. Lord, hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplication, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your seven offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy to your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and getting for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dispassion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy <clears throat> heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to get our trances, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit request to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it does not in the temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not ready that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Let us pray. May the working king of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects may not, may, and not our own desires, may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.